multi-leader style manager. Let's take a look at some of the styles that we can add to the multi-leader. But first, let's go ahead and just create one multi-leader. I'll go ahead and use this icon here. I'll specify the arrowhead location here. Specify the landing here, and I'll type some text. I'll go ahead and close this out. And as you can see, our text is very unreadable. Let's scroll in, and I wrote some text. I'm going to double click the mouse wheel and put everything into view. It's barely readable, but I don't want to have to squint my eyes just to make sure I can read that. So let's adjust the text style. You can find that here in Annotate, in the Leaders panel, and go ahead and use this icon here, Multi Leader Style Manager. I'll go ahead and select that. And now it brings me into the Multi Leader Style Manager dialog. Let's go ahead and create a new one. I have standard selected. Here's a preview of my standard. I'll go ahead and create new. I can also modify and set other styles current. Pick new. This is what it's based off of, starting with standard. I'll go ahead and call this practice. And I have the option to choose to make this annotated for not. We're going to leave this unchecked for now. I'll go ahead and continue. And now that brings me to the options that I can use to create my style. Some of these may look familiar. Let's go ahead and look at leader format, leader structure, and content. We've already seen some of these in the options when we were creating our leader. Let's go to leader format. We, under general, we have type, which is straight. We can change this to spline. We got color, which currently is set to bilayer but we can choose a specific color right now if we want. Typically you should leave this set to bilayer and set this in your properties for the layer itself as well as the line type and line weight. These are set to by block right now. They can also be set to bilayer or to continuous and other lines as well. The arrowhead. Here's the symbol and here's the size. So far we haven't really been able to see this. But let's go ahead and try and see what type of arrowheads we can use for the symbol. These are some options here. I'm going to try something a little bit different. I'm going to do a closed blank. And as you can see, here's our arrow here that's being updated. Let's increase the size a bit. You can go ahead and hold your mouse down here. Or we can just type in a value. 1 and enter. And currently, we can't actually even see the size. Let's leave it at 1. And we can also do a leader break, which we're not going to play with right now. Let's go to leader structure. Here are some constraints, and here are some landing settings. We've already seen the leader points. Here are some first and second segment angles. And again, specifying if it's annotated or not and the type of content that we have. Here's the text height. Every time you've been entering it so far, it's been pretty small. Let's increase that to one like we've been setting it. We also have horizontal attachment and vertical attachment for the way the leader connects. We'll leave it at horizontal attachment for now. Remember, we can also change this to block, none, and M text. We also have other standards of text here to choose from, such as annotative and style one, which I have. Let's go ahead and keep it just like this. I'll hit OK. I'll click on practice, set it to current, hit close, and there you go. So far, it hasn't changed this multi-leader at all. We can go ahead and select that, come over to standard, change that to practice. And there you go. Now we have the new style that we created. Let's go ahead and make a new one. We can also come back here to home, go to annotation, pull down the menu, look at the multi-leader style manager from here, and look on the right side to see what type of style we're using. Currently we're set to practice, which is what we want to use. 
let's go ahead and create a leader. Pan over to the side of it. I'll click here. I'll click here. And finally type some text. Close it out. Close it again. And as you can see, we're no longer plagued with that small text we couldn't read anymore. We also have changed the arrowhead here. It's important to note that even though we changed the style of the text that we were using, it didn't change the existing text that we had over here. So you have to make sure to go back and change the text styles of the multi you probably already created, if you have any created.